Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we are going to see how we can able to increase the special resolution of Landsat 8 data from 30 meter to 15 meter. So I'm having this 13 meter band composite image. Okay, so this is an built up area. So if we'll check in 30 meter, it is looking like this, but when you will see in a 15 meter, you will see it is little bit higher resolution. You can able to see the difference between both the file. Okay. So this is in 30 meter and this is in 15 meter. So you can able to see little bit, little bit increase in the special resolution. Okay. So now you can able to see this portion is blur, but now when you will see in 50 meter, you can able to see little bit increase in the resolution. So how we can able to improve our special resolution that we are going to see today. So for that, we need to download this Landsat 8 data set. Okay. In the Landsat 8 data set, you will see the bands are there. Okay. If you'll see here the Landsat 8 data set, in that Landsat 8 data set, there are total 11 bands are there. In that first one to seven band is having a special resolution of 30 meter. Okay. Means if you'll check the one pixel, you will see 30 meter covering. After that, band 8 is 15 meter. Okay. So we're going to use this 15 meter band to convert all this 30 meter band into 15 meter bands. Okay. So this band is very useful. That is a pan chromatic band number eight, a pan chromatic image we're going to use to increase the special resolution of this 30 meter resolution data set. So we are going to use pan sharpening here. So you can download this data set from the UHGS Earth Explorer. Okay. The website is there from the UHGS Earth Explorer. You can able to download the Landsat data set. After downloading the Landsat data set, you can extract the file. Okay. What are the file you are having? You can able to extract it and you can able to add this one to seven band here. Okay. All this one to seven or one to eight band I have added here. So now if you'll check the special resolution here in the properties, all one to seven band raster information, this is 30 meter. Okay. And the band number eight, if you right click, go to properties and raster information in the source raster information it is 15 meter. So this one to seven band we need to select. Okay. After selection of one to seven band, we just need to go to imagery. There is a process and you can click on composite. Okay. Once you we'll click on the composite, then this band composite will create here. Okay. Now I will uncheck all this band. Okay, so this composite band will create. If you right click, go to properties, you can able to see in the source raster information that is 30 meter. So we have combined all the seven bands. Right click, go to symbology. You will see all the seven bands are there. So four, three, and two is a natural color composite band. Okay, there in the nature, you will see similar thing here in natural color composite. So if I'll use five to this rate, then this green to four, this blue to three, then you will see abscess image. So whatever the vegetation area is there, now you can able to see in red color. Previously, vegetated area converted into red color. So now if you'll see this special resolution is having a 13 meter. If I'll zoom it any particular locations. So this is 30 meter, but I'm interested to convert this image into 15 meter resolution. Okay, so here this band, pan sharpening band will be useful. Okay, so what we can able to do, we just need to go to view and geo processing. Okay, in the geo processing, there is a data management tool. Okay, in the data management tool, there is a raster. In the raster, there is a raster processing and there is a create pan sharp raster data set is there create a pan sharp so just click here after that the input image is my band composite this composite image we have prepared that is my input raster composite image and here we can able to select a band composite like a band 4 is my red so i can select 4 band 3 is my green and band 2 is my blue so i'll select this and the infrared you can able to select it is Band infrared is five, so we can able to select the five, and then composite 
and output raster data set means where you want to save this file. So just go to the folder where you are working. So I'll save here that pan sharp two. Just click on the save. And after that, most important thing is a pan chromatic image. So this is my band number eight. Okay, so this eight number is my pan chromatic. So I'll provide a band pan chromatic image here. Other option is I will keep as it is and I will just click on the run. So this process will take little bit time. Okay. So after completion of processor, you will get the pan sharpening image. In that pan sharpening image, you will be able to see in the properties. In their properties, you can able to see the 15 meter file you will get. So after completion of this process, it will take little bit time as per based on your configuration of the system and it is taking time. So I'm just showing here, you will get this kind of imagery. So what you just need to do, you just need to create a band composite and use this pan sharpening tool. After that, you can able to convert your 30 meter image into 15 meter image very easily. Okay. So if you're having any doubts, you can just ask me in the comment sections and thank you. Thank you.